If you were to ask most people on the street, what is the difference between a carbuncle and a furuncle, they would probably give you an answer that was wrong. Actually, they're both boils. They are both uh, abscesses involving skin and subcutaneous tissue. The more precise uh, purists would tell you, however, correctly, that a furuncle is a single uh, boil leading into the skin, whereas a carbuncle is usually a confluence of two or more. So carbuncles are usually bigger, but it's the same process and who cares? What we have here is skin. You can see that the epidermis ends kind of abruptly and you have a large mass or large area between these two epithelial edges. Uh, which is filled with pus. You could see, hopefully pretty soon, that these are chiefly neutrophils and fibrin, and they kind of dissect throughout the soft tissues of the dermis. But in addition, they form areas like here that are nothing but solid, and sometimes uh, fairly well-defined pus pockets, uh, which is the definition of an abscess. So both uh, carbuncles and furuncles are boils. They're both abscesses. They're both usually uh, in the skin and subcutaneous area, and they're usually caused by uh, skin bacteria such as staph or strep. Um, I wish I could say something more profound about this case, but there really is nothing left to say. Let's just zip in uh, for a second, look at some of the way that these uh, neutrophils kind of dissect the surrounding soft tissues, whereas in some areas they look like they're fairly well defined. Uh, we can also zip in over here, take a couple of clicks, and maybe uh, look at some of the uh, neutrophils individually to see their mixture with fibrin. And up here, it looks like they have chewed up part of a uh, hair follicle because you can see a piece of hair here. But if you look, these are all classical neutrophils. The uh, nuclei are never really quite perfectly round. They always look a little lobulated. Thank you very much. This is it for carbuncle, which is a fusion of furuncles. Thank you.